The first landing on the surface of the moon was not that of Apollo 11 on the 20th of July 1969. The first soft landing was actually made three years earlier, in 1966, and the vehicle wasn't American. The scheduled launch of Artemis 1, set for tomorrow, Saturday 3rd of September 2022, marks America's first attempt at restarting manned missions to the moon since the cancellation of the Apollo program in 1972. Man missions are planned from 2024 onwards, and for the first time in 50 years, the world's attention is being focused on the nearest celestial body to Earth. The desire of humans to explore the moon has a long history, but most of the records went to America's greatest Cold War enemy, the Soviet Union. The first spacecraft to reach the moon was the Soviet Luna 1 probe on the 4th of January 1959. It would go on to orbit the sun. This was followed by the American probe Pioneer 4 on the 4th of March 1959, conducting scientific experiments in orbit around the moon. The Soviets sent the third probe to the moon, Luna 3, which photographed the far side of the moon never before seen by humans. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy made his famous speech. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out, of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Ranger 1, launched in August 1961, a vehicle designed to carry out tests necessary for conducting subsequent lunar missions was launched. However, subsequent Ranger missions were a disaster. Following Ranger 1, all the missions failed until Ranger 7 was able to photograph the lunar surface close up in July 1964 before it was deliberately impacted into the moon. While NASA struggled to successfully send unmanned probes to orbit the moon, the Soviets were striding ahead and were ready to attempt a soft landing rather than simply crashing into the moon's surface. A soft landing, of course, could pave the way for an eventual soft landing by human beings, something not lost on the Americans. The first successful landing on the moon would be made by an unmanned robotic vehicle named Luna 9. Launched by a Monilia M rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in the Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic on the 31st of January 1966, the first three stages of the four-stage rocket placed the payload and the fourth stage successfully into low Earth orbit. The fourth stage, a Block L, then fired to place Luna 9 into a very high orbit. It then travelled to the Moon. The lunar lander would be delivered to the surface of the Moon by a combination of airbags and firing retro rockets as it descended four outrigger engines slowing the lander until at just 5 metres or 16 feet above the surface of the moon, the engines shut down and the landing capsule was ejected. Landing inside a large cushioning bag, bouncing several times before coming to rest in Oceanus Procolum on the 3rd of February 1966. A short time after landing, the four petals that covered the top half of the craft opened to help stability. A camera atop the craft began taking panoramic photographs, beaming these first close-up images of the moon's surface by radio back to Earth. In total, five panoramic photographs were taken. The camera was able to see to a distance of 1.4 kilometers from the lander. At the same time, a scientific instrument measured radiation on the moon's surface. The importance of Luna 9's success was obvious. The USSR had taken another space record, the first soft landing on another celestial body. It also proved that spacecraft would not sink into the Moon's surface on landing. Luna 9 remained in contact with the Earth until the 6th of February 1966. However, the Americans were not far behind. On the 2nd of June 1966, Surveyor 1 made a soft landing on the Ocean of Storms, four months after Luna 9. The race to land a man on the moon was won by the United States in 1969. The Soviet manned moon mission program had scheduled a first lunar landing for September 1968, but following the death of chief Soviet spacecraft designer Korolev in 1966, the Soviet lunar program had entered delays and financial problems until terminated in 1974 after several expensive failures. However, 
the USSR did successfully land two Lunokhod robotic lunar rovers on the moon in 1970 and 1973, delivered by lunar spacecraft. Whether the Soviet Union, if their lunar program had not faced the problems I've mentioned, could have beaten the US and placed a cosmonaut on the moon in 1968 remains very debatable and the subject of much speculation. Luna 9 remained the Soviet Union's greatest moon triumph, but today is almost completely forgotten and overshadowed by the landing of Apollo 11 in 1969. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. And also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.